I'm Andrew Dish Nation. Bennett, what do you think about this wave? My Vanna White wave. What do you think of that? I love it. No. You, should just, you should just do that in real life all the time. <laughs> Uh, okay, which brings me to my first question is- Go on. Okay, yeah, here we go. The hand gestures in this are iconic. Who is teaching you, like, does, is someone teaching you hand choreography? Like where we does- We established a visual choreographic, choreographed language for, for the spell casting in the first film with a great guy called Jay Funk, Julian, who is Jay Funk on the YouTube and you should look at it. Um, he's a hand tutter, which is basically like a, a form of um, hand uh, break dancing, and he's brilliant. And yes, we basically had to um, invent this from from scratch. Um, there are some postures from the comics. There are some figuration configurations, rather of fingers. But uh, to actually put that into motion, obviously, that was a whole new thing. So it's been fun establishing that language and evolving it, especially with looking at uh, new spells and new um, powers and entities that he brings into action in this movie. Um, and often it would be literally on the set on the moment of doing it. And sometimes, uh, Oh yeah, we've got to do, a, I've got to do something here. Haven't I? Where, where's Jay funk. And we just, this is what it's going to look like with the SFX producer directing team. Uh, how do we make it look like this with our hands? Julian, Julian would do something amazing, which would take five minutes and I'd go, I can't do that. What about this? Yeah, that's quite a good one. About the compromise, change, rehearse, do. And that's it. But, but yeah, often on the day in the minute. It looks freaking dope. So great. Right. Well, that's, yeah. yeah, it feels freaking stupid. Uh, a lot of the time <laughs> doing it, but thank God they actually put something on the end of your hands when it's actually finished. Um, the other fact that blew me about this mind is that you guys started shooting and the ending wasn't even written yet, no. but as a performer, the Marvel way. Uh, but, but like, doesn't you knowing the ending for the movie inform your performance throughout, like how do you go through it without knowing how it's going to end? To an extent. Yeah. To an extent. Yes. But there's so much immediate problem solving going on here. And one thing leads to another that if, if you're in the middle of the conundrum or the narrative, you don't necessarily need the ending to inform your choices in that moment but it's nerve-wracking and sort of necessary you know this is this is the greatest sort of long-form entertainment we have it's a serialization of this incredible ongoing comic book drama writ large on uh, on on the stage of the cinema so it needs linkage every single one of these is an episode in an ongoing saga so we were yeah. shooting Strange at the same time as Spider-Man, at the same time as WandaVision coming out, Loki after it. So all of these pieces and, and, and revelations and logics that had to be batoned from one you know, entity of this story to the next, it required a lot of deafness and head scratching and <laughs> really confusing conversations. And also establishing some rules of our own. And in, a, in a, the good spirit of a production company that doesn't ever want to leave it alone and has pretty endless resources to keep trying to perfect things to a point, I have to say, my friend, it's gone are the days when you can say something at the premiere and it's shot the next day, because frankly, there is so much content out there. There aren't, there aren't enough special effects houses to deal with the amount of uh, work that's being thrown at them at the moment. So even Marvel have to wait their turns. So it's, it's, it's severely restricted to what it used to be, but they never stop trying to plus what they've got at every time, even at the very, very end. I'm Andrew Dish Nation. Rachel, I was just remembering the last time that we Zoomed, you were having me put on makeup to become a Eurovision character. I didn't recognize you. God, we've come a long way, girl. I mean. <laughs> you washed your face finally. Yeah. yeah, you know, I thought it was time to clean up. <laughs> Um, um, so first of all, congratulations on 20 years in the business. I love that they're already giving you lifetime achievement awards. So I know I didn't know it just took two decades. Hey, you know? you're doing something right. long, but it's also short. So let's get to it. There you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> talk to me how you keep this movie straight because it's very complicated. So did you like get a whiteboard and like chart things? Like, how did you keep it straight? Yes, yes. I, I, I turned to the Marvel experts in my life. I have a few friends that are very on top of it. Thank goodness. And that was very enlightening. Um, I took copious notes and I referred to them often. Uh, I harassed the writer daily. Yeah. Um, I think he still is avoiding me. Um, <laughs> And uh, Sam and I spent a lot of time talking story. 
I mean, it sounds like the best homework assignment ever, kind it of. It was not too shabby, yeah. Now, riddle me this. Let's get a little deep here. Who do you think would make the better boyfriend? Noah Calhoun or Dr. Strange? Let's discuss, Rachel. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah. Um, I have heard over the years that maybe it's actually a bit crazy to build the woman you're no longer with a house. Okay. <laughs> It's one interpretation, uh, you know, it's not, I'm not saying it's the right one. Um, but on the other hand, it's tough being with a sorcerer. That's with true. Video, you know, there's not a lot of room in that relationship for little Christine Palmer. So right. um, neither. Okay. <laughs> you know what? She's an independent woman. She don't need no man. Right. She's got her dog. She's rescuing on the weekends. That was from the first, the first one. <laughs> this has a deep dig there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. The fans are going to love this. Um, I want to see now. I want to know what would be inside Rachel's multiverse. So if there's another multiverse, there's another you. I want to know what is that Rachel doing first of all, because she's not an actor. I don't know what she's doing. And like, what do you need to have in your own multiverse? What's in that world? Um, food. Food's good. Uh, glorious food. Uh, I mean, and nobody loses weight because there's zero gravity. And um, uh, you have the ocean surrounding you on three sides. Um, I what speak she... many, many languages. Oh, I okay. play She's all like... the instruments. Okay. Okay. My hair grows very fast. <laughs> and I'm taller. Oh, you're top God. I mean, you're, you're literally speaking my language. I wish I was a little bit taller, but what am I going to do? I just a pinch, right? Yeah. Just a pinch. Um, and in your own life, what would your own friends and family say your superpower is in your own life? Impressions, which I shouldn't say, cause then people are going to try and make me do impressions, but I don't, I don't do any in particular. I do them of like family members. No one, you know, <laughs> But um, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Rachel. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thanks. You too. <laughs>